Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will show you how to make this AC shaded pole motor and we will also talk about the theory of how it works. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. GLC PCB is a company that makes excellent quality PCBs at an unbeatable price. You can order boards online in minutes. After registration, upload your Gerber files, select the PCB properties, select the payment method and place your order. Best price and quality for all your PCB needs. This motor, like all modern electric motors, needs a coil and a magnetic core. In my case, I used the core of an old flyback because it is what I had at hand, but normally electric motors use a laminated iron core, such as this one. As you know, when you apply a current to the coil, you create an electromagnet and a magnetic field develops in the coil and goes through the magnetic core. If you apply a DC current to the coil, you create an electromagnet and it can attract ferromagnetic objects such as this metal washer because there is a magnetic field that goes through the magnetic circuit. Because DC has a single flow direction when we connect the coil, we will obtain one south and one north pole at each side of the core. Let me connect the coil and bring the needle. At this side, you can see that it attracts the north. And if you move to the other side, then it attracts the opposite pole, the south. It flips direction because we have different magnetic poles at each side of the core. Now, if instead of DC we use AC from a transformer, we will also create an electromagnet but the magnetic poles will be switching position continuously because the AC also changes direction 60 times per second, which is the frequency of the line. Let me connect the coil and you can see how it also attracts ferromagnetic objects. But that noise that you hear is the result of the changing position of the magnetic poles. Another concept we need to know is that when a magnetic field moves through a conductor, in the conductor is induced a current. Here I have this coil connected to the multimeter and I'm going to pass a magnet through the coil. You can see the current that is generated in the display of the multimeter and also notice the sign is positive in one direction and negative in the other. And also notice that we only have a current when the magnetic field is changing, when we have movement. If we have the magnetic field in the coil but it is stationary, it is not changing, then no current is induced. And the current that flows in the coil also creates its own magnetic field and because of Lenz law, the magnetic field of the coil will oppose the original magnetic field that is creating it. Our motor is made with the electromagnet connected to AC and we also have this rotor which is just a piece of aluminum. Actually, it is the case of a large 
electrolytic capacitor and rests on this needle so that it can rotate freely. We also have this copper ring whose purpose we will explain in a minute. Let me connect the electromagnet and if you bring it close to the rotor you can see that nothing happens but if we put the copper ring on one side then the rotor spins in the counterclockwise direction. Move the ring to the other side and the rotor changes direction. Here I have the stator from a commercial motor. Here I put the copper ring and of course it also works. If we flip the stator, the rotor begins to move in the other direction. Let me give you a simplified explanation of how this motor works. Here we have the coil which is connected to AC, the core, this is the copper ring, also called a shading ring, therefore this is the shaded pole and the unshaded pole. And here we have the rotor of the motor. Okay, first Imagine that there is no ring. Since we have AC, the magnetic fields will be changing on both poles. A varying magnetic field induces a current in a conductor. The rotor is made of a conducting material. Therefore, the field from this pole and the field in the other pole will induce currents in the rotor. And these currents also create its own magnetic fields and the associated forces. But here we have a symmetrical situation. Both fields are of the same strength. Therefore, the forces in the rotor are also symmetrical. But now, if we place this shading ring, this is as if we have uh, a ring in a transformer. It is a conductor and a current is induced in this conductor. The current creates its own magnetic field and this field, because of length law, will be of an opposite direction to the main field. So the net effect is that the main field will be smaller than before. And also the induced fields and forces in the rotor will now be asymmetrical. They are not the same and this causes the rotation of the rotor. The direction is from the unshaded pole to the shaded pole. This type of motors last for a long time because there is almost no wear since they do not have brushes. However, these motors generate very low force and torque 
and therefore they are only used in devices that do not need too much force. For example, in fans. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for visiting my channel and I hope you stop by for the next video.